TYT Sports, Ben Mankowitz and Jason Rubin with you. We've been uh, critical on this show when uh, athletes, mostly team leaders, mostly quarterbacks, uh, don't talk to the media or talk to the media, uh, fulfill their media obligation uh, in such a surly manner that they're essentially saying, I'm not talking to you. Marshawn Lynch does it, but he's a running back. He's not the quarterback, and it's funny. Yes. Um, so I'm gonna, I give Marshawn Lynch... He should still talk to the media, but I give him an 81% pass because it's amusing. And really he's not the quarterback. I really appreciate you asking about Marshall Lynch. <laughs> um, and uh, Colin Kaepernick showed a complete lack of leadership. It was part of the disintegration of the 49ers. Uh, you don't have to like it. You don't have to be funny. Uh, but you have to engage those guys, and you have to show your team that you're in charge. And part of the media is being in charge. Mm -hmm. uh, and that you're not going to shirk a significantly important responsibility about how you communicate with fans by being a surly little brat, by being a nine-year-old about it who doesn't want to, to tell his teacher that he didn't do his homework. Right. So uh, now we have a Russell Westbrook. It's not quite the same situation as a quarterback, but I would say one of the two stars and the point guard of one of the elite teams in the NBA uh, has some duty Beef. to... To talk to the media, oh, okay. and it would Sorry. appear that Russell Westbrook uh, has a problem, at least with this uh, one reporter, uh, uh, Barry Barry Trammell of the Oklahoma. We changed the um, execution. That was a good job of executing. Down the stretch, you and Serge seem to be in a really great rhythm. Uh, what allowed you guys to be so <laughs> successful? Mm, did a good job of execution. Russell had the first, that first stretch Nick was talking about, the 15-2 run. He went with a uh, small lineup with five really good offensive players on the court. What does, it, what does it do for your offense when everybody out there is really accomplished as an offensive player? That's good. Rush, you had eight assists in the fourth quarter. What did you see from them defensively that allowed you to focus as much as you did on passing the rock? Oh, we did a good job executing. Now, are you upset with something? She really be upset. I just don't like you. You don't? No. Do you not like Nick either? I love Nick, oh. but I don't like you. Well, you gave us about the same answers. Yeah. You got another question? So uh, there was a point a few weeks back that I thought for certain players that they shouldn't have to talk to the media. Uh, and then I kind of seen a trend now with, and it's gone from the NFL to the NBA. I'm sure it's going to everywhere. I don't think this is necessarily Marshawn Lynch causing this I want to call it a toxic mm -hmm. environment to the media, but as you mentioned before, it's really not that difficult to simply say, you know, in at least a little bit more of a professional manner than that, yeah, we played really well, it was a good game, we look forward yeah. to the next week. Uh, look, the, the media is, uh, you know, is not what it used to be, and there's no question that, that there's an, an effort sometimes to sort of, uh, that it feels, I'm sure to some of these players it feels personal. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, and the, the headline that the Oklahoman had last year about Durant right. uh, was a terrible one, which they apologized for. Um, but this seems 37 games into the season or whatever it is, 40 games halfway through the season, this seems unlikely to be right. related to that. I don't even mind a player being honest and saying, I don't like you. But you should still do your job. You could say, you know, you could you could give him worse answers. The, the other guy's allowed to use the answers to the other people's questions when you write your when you write your piece. This yeah, guy's the writer, just so keep it's going not like after it. right. Yeah. You don't have to. Um, so, you know, you can say, well, you know, we executed, and uh, you know, I don't really know what else to tell you. And then and then when he asks a different question, if you want to, you get to answer any question you want. You know, did you see something on the court? You can say, look, I, I don't know what we saw. The important thing is. Me and Reggie Jackson are playing really well together right now. We got a good feel, and we sort of feel like we can do anything against anybody. There's just a, 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 a way to, to hold yourself in those positions. And, of course, as we mentioned, Marshawn Lynch has a funny way of doing it. At least we find it funny how he does yeah. it. Uh, but we've also seen Colin Kaepernick play this brat role, especially being a franchise quarterback. We've now seen Russell Westbrook doing it. By the way, as I'm going to highlight on your paper, he had 17, 17, and 15. Yeah. Which is an in fourth, fourth player in the league to get uh, at least 15 across yeah, the board, which yeah. is an unbelievable performance. So maybe when you come off the court after probably the best stat line you're going to put up, or at least the one that you have, I'd say 17, 17, and 15 is an all-around dominant basketball game, not in the playoffs, but a regular season game in general. You know, just explain what went right. It's, it's not that difficult. Now, and this is from Deadspin, I believe. They mentioned in the piece later that 
when they were talking to Kevin Durant after Russell Westbrook. I think he threw a, a joke or was trolling Russell, Russell Westbrook because he said, uh, yeah, we executed really well, but then burst it out laughing. Mm, Not yeah. sure what that means for it. I just thought it was an interesting but the, the guy, another, uh, uh, the, 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 this guy, Trammell, is a... Um, uh, I don't know. He's not the normal beat writer. Okay, so, so I guess Anthony Nick's Slater. Kind of Anthony okay. Slater. The, uh, Nick writes for the NBA.com, covers the Thunder for NBA.com. Okay, com. that makes sense. And, and those those organizations are usually uh, independent, you know, or mm -hmm. as independent as they can be, even though they're owned by the league. Right. But reading here from Dead Spence says Westbrook always has been surly with the media, but Oklahoma, the Oklahoma Thunder, a beat writer, uh, uh, the Oklahoman Thunder beat writer, Anthony yes, Slater. Yeah, yeah. Said that he, and he interacts with Westbrook. The Rose said it's taken a new level the last couple of weeks. Here's what uh, Slater writes. It started after he was ejected against the Suns a few weeks back. As he was prodded about the circumstances surrounding his two technicals, Westbrook continually said it was a good win for us. Then in practice the other day, he was incredibly short with his answers. And after that, following the Thunder's loss to Houston Thursday night, he gave a 16-word interview session, none of which came with a friendly tone. And Slater alludes to Marshawn Lynch's pressers, uh, which have been covered at... Uh, a dead spin that maybe that is a message being sent to players. I just think the league needs to step in. I mean, these guys are incredibly well paid. This is part of how the story gets out with the media. And it's an opportunity for them to show their personality and have fun. And again, right. you do not have to really answer the question asked if you don't want to. If you don't like a guy, you can not give him what he wants, but you can still give people uh, what they need. You can talk about whatever you want, whenever you want. And again, like I said, there was a point halfway through the NFL season where I did truly believe you don't need to talk to the media uh, even if you are a franchise quarterback, that my opinion on that has drastically changed as more players have come out to do what Colin Kaepernick was responding it's important to. Important for a young man like you to admit when you're wrong. I used to when I used to be wrong, I would admit. It. Yeah. Right. Are you ever wrong, Ben Mankiewicz? Not anymore. Not anymore. <laughs>